happy Vlogmas and Merry Christmas. We decorated over the weekend and um, I kind of wanted to show you the tree and give you like a tour of the tree. I don't know if this is a thing, but I'm going to make it a thing. Um, I am not the kind of person who does like a cohesive tree theme. My mother-in-law does these gorgeous like shopping mall quality themed trees and she changes it up every year. Me, I do it the way my parents always did it. Basically, we pick up ornaments from all over every year and whenever, and every ornament kind of has its own history and memory, and that's just what we do. So I only have white lights because that's what I have enough of. Um, this is actually my mother-in-law's old tree, um, which is great. We didn't have to like buy a fresh one or anything. So we have... Um, don't actually have an angel topper. I want to get one one of these years. I've been using this gold bow for a long time um, since I moved out on my own. And then this ribbon here was actually my Christmas tree the year that I was um, in an apartment before we got married. Um, I was in a little studio and there was no room for an actual tree, but I still wanted to display some of the ornaments. So I took this ribbon and I nailed it to the wall in sort of a tree shape and I hung some ornaments from it. So let's take a look at some of these. Uh, let's see. Here we go. We'll start from the very beginning. This is one of my baby's first Christmas ornaments. I actually have two. I'll show you the other one. I'm not sure if it's going to go in focus. There you go. That's super cute and itty bitty. I was born in 88. Look at that. Yeah, I'm young. Okay, I turned 30 this year, guys. Okay, this one here <laughs> was... Um, a friend of mine made this for me and gave this to me as a Christmas gift. Um, shout out to Liz. I don't know if she knows that I have a YouTube channel, but hi. And uh, yeah, you can see it says have a blessed 23, uh, 2003. So I think she gave this to me in 2002. So I was in, I think I was like 13 then, maybe 14. Um, yeah, I think I was 14, freshman in high school. And uh, we were taking Latin together and that was when she gave it to me. Um, so this guy back here in the place of shame misspelled my name and so I'm hiding it in the back um, so that nobody can see it because there's another one over here here that has Gina's name spelled right and they match anyway so they're both there because I haven't thrown it away because I'm a pack rat I don't know this is my other baby search Christmas ornament super cute little stuffy bears in a little slipper see lace and all that. I believe, if the legends are true, that this one is from my godparents. Uh, let's see. These apples are, um, like some of these are from my parents' tree. <laughs> they gave me some that were like mine, like this one, um, and some that they just didn't need anymore. Like there's a whole collection from my grandma, and then also some that they just didn't really care about because they have so many that they can't use all of them every year. So got some of those and they remind me of growing up um this little thing is i don't think it wasn't originally a um a christmas ornament but it's a little clay sand dollar that was the giveaway at my um cousin's wedding so shout out to sarah i know that she sometimes watches these videos hi she has her own channel it's called sarah at home and she does like lifestyle stuff um and she has a happy planner uh, this is just this year. My mother-in-law brought this over. Uh, it was just a little uh, stocking, and we've got a stocking that's big enough for what we need. So I'm like, why don't you put a hook on it, and we'll put it in the tree. And then look at that. It's perfect. All of these little snowflakes are also from her beautiful cohesive tree from last year. Um, she didn't need them, so she gave them to me. And then these little balls are from Michael's. Um, Michael's has really great deals on Christmas decorations. The closer you get... To Christmas. I made this one year out of those little three-sided pony beads, you know. It's just a pipe cleaner in there. This may have been at some sort of Christmas festival that I made this. I don't actually remember. It was either that or at school. Uh, this, I've been told, is Sailor Mercury. <laughs> this is a little, um, I guess, keychain that was given to me by my husband's cousin when we went to Comic-Con. It was just a little something, a sweet little gift. And so I thought this way, you know, I have it. I, I'm, not, I'm using it for something, you know. Uh, this was one year that we painted ornaments. 
and I was pretty proud of this one. I can see the detailing. There's snow on top, little details on the scarf and all that. Yep. Oh, there's even a metallic button. So, yes, my pride and joy. Let's see. This was one of the ones that my grandma had. I believe that her mother made these. She used to do all this needlepoint. But I could be wrong. It could be a different relative. But this is one that was my grandma's. Uh, let's see. Some of these um, olive wood ornaments, I think, are from the Holy Land. Sorry, my, uh, my family got those for us the first year that we had moved out of the house. I was living with my sister. And the one down here. And let's see. Oh, yeah. So this is one that uh, I made, I want to say, probably preschool, 1993. I think it's a, like a salt dough with way too much glitter and <laughs> these little hearts. And let's see. What else? There's another wooden one. Down here at the bottom, I've set up a little area where the baby's been playing I put down a blanket and she'll lay down here so that she can see the tree and then I hung a little apple one and a little bell this one was one of grandma's and she can reach those and she has a really a lot of fun playing around there and looking at the tree this has been so fun to see her experience Christmas for the first time and I think that's it there's one more one to show you that doesn't really matter it's just a little um wise man that I have no idea where I found it but it used to be in um like a little collection that I had of oh here it is here he is you know how like when you're little and you have just like a, a box of treasures or whatever I, I don't know where this guy came from it was probably like a, a prize from a vacation bible school or something <laughs> but he was just a tiny little guy and um he was just in a box for like years and years and then I realized hey I can put it on the tree um, and so here he is, and he's super cute. And uh, that is everything. Uh, we're going to be putting, you know, a baby's first Christmas ornament up for the baby and, you know, just sort of continuing to collect ornaments throughout the years. And I really love the way that the tree looks uh, with the sort of, you know, eclectic and uh, colorful non-theme that we have going on here. Um, last thing. Okay. There's some lights around the window. Ooh. Last thing is this uh, sort of wreath sprig thing. Um, it has a really creepy Santa face that we didn't really like under there. And so we decided to cover it up. And so my husband got really excited by the idea of doing whatever you want for a Christmas decoration theme. This is Optimus Primal. He transforms into a gorilla. And I think that's actually really cool. <laughs> So he might be mad at me for showing you, but I think it's really awesome. Anyway, Merry Christmas, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow.